very, very shortly, we are going to be joined by our second guest of the night. His name is Trevis. Um, my team are already in love with him. Let's just say that. <laughs> Um, he's not a stranger to the show. He joined Kim Davis a while back and he is on to big, big things. He's already doing big things, but he's got his latest track out called So I Can Sleep Sound and it features West London's very own, the trio that is Western. I absolutely love the track. I cannot wait to play it. It has just dropped. He is a Norwegian pop R&B singer, songwriter and producer. His name is Trevis. Welcome to the show. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing good. It's good to have you on. You've been busy. Uh, yes, we've been a little busy. A little? Uh, you look like you've been doing lots. <laughs> yeah, the the release schedule this summer has been hectic. Well, listen, been, uh, I'm loving your track. We're going to talk about it a little bit later on and we're going to play it out. Um, but I haven't I haven't actually interviewed you before. So let's start from the beginning. To those that are hearing your no, name no. for the first time. No, shout out, shout out Kim. Big up great, to Kim uh, Davis. Yeah, big up Kim. <laughs> Kim's the one that put me on you, actually. She does, She actually put me on that oh, last track. Is. Yeah, oh, big, big, big up, up Kim. Kim. <laughs> you love Kim. I will. Um, so listen, tell me about your musical journey. When did you first fall in love with music? Oh, man, it's, uh, it's a little unorthodox because it wasn't always music for me. I remember yeah. telling Kim that you started when I was off younger, as a footballer. I play, yeah, 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 I used to play football. You know, I lived in Spain and I, I trained with the uh, Manchester United uh, soccer schools and the youth academy as well and, and and so for me that was my whole life and when my injury happened when I was just a kid you know I, I went through such a difficult period trying to get through it and I was just very lost in life and my mom's you know she uh, she really took me uh, and, help, and helped me get out of that space and she brought me to California where I was of course introduced to music and entertainment and I just fell in love with it Honestly. And since then, that's been the, the highlight of my life. I get to do these things and put music out, and and you know, it's been a it's been an amazing last uh, last year. So it's absolutely beautiful. I've loved witnessing your journey. Um, I love that you. you said your mum was the one that got you into music. My <laughs> mom, you know, she does what she does what moms do, and, and she uh, she saw that I was having a really really tough time, and uh, she knew what needed to be done, and, and you know, she. Uh, she took me out of that space and, you know, I'm forever grateful and I love her for that. That must have been very, very hard uh, being told that you can't play football ever again, especially with that. Yeah, and you know, it's, it's, you know, in Europe as well, you know, all my friends, all my mates play play football and, and you know, it's, it's everything I, I loved and did. So just falling into that same habit of not being able to, to play it and just keep injuring yourself. It was just, uh, I was doing a lot of... Uh, a lot of stupid stuff, um, you know, afterwards and, and things that could have, you know, got me in trouble and stuff. And, and so I'm just happy for my mom that she took me out and I fell in love with music and, you know, I'm out having the best time. I love that. Well, you've had huge support globally. Thank God your mum did that because you've been on some <laughs> reputable media, radio and TV outlets, Billboard, BBC's very own, uh, Los Angeles <laughs> Times, uh, all across the stations here. But... Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. You know what though? Uh, there's no no love's been like been like London for me, and and the UK has just been you know it's been incredible, and they've especially the BBC as well. You guys have just supported me so much, and oh, uh, we love I've you. I've actually I've actually I've actually relocated to W12. <gasps> You're my yeah. neighbor. You're my neighbor. Yeah, except for the first white city, you hey. know. I love that. So you're actually, we need to get you in the studio then. We need to get you oh, in the studio with was, me and I Kim. Ta- I, was, I was talking to Kim about this. She, was, she said she was going to show me around London and stuff. So I'm yeah, still waiting for the Yeah, we got you. Listen, we That's got tough. you. So, okay. So, so it's interesting that you say that because I, I love London. London's where I was born and raised. Mm. But, I don't know what that saying is, but they say a man's never respected in his own home or something like that. When I go to Los <laughs> Angeles, that's probably so wrong. When you I know, you know what? Go on. You, just real quick. I peeped your Instagram. It does say LA slash London. <laughs> so I was wondering. I'm begging yeah, it. Me. I'm begging it. I love Los Angeles. The last three months I've been out there like two weeks at a time, you know, doing little things, trying to make things happen. But 
I find that I get the most love in Los Angeles. I mean, I love London. I love my incredible <laughs> listeners. I'm on BBC Radio London, best job in the world. But I get, a, I am far more respected for my madness in Los Angeles. So it's interesting, isn't it? No, yeah, I was a little nervous at first, you know, because I, um, I've always been told that you know London and New York they're very similar, and that's obviously very different from LA, but. So far, I've just found London to be, uh, besides the weather, you know, it's just been incredible. It's been, uh, people are so supportive, especially in the industry as well. Like, people like Angel and, and Weston. And, Big up Angel. And uh, they've really, yeah, they've taken me under their, their arms. And uh, it's just been a really, really great time for me. So I can't wait to keep pushing uh, and staying in W12, you know. I love that you're W12. You're literally W12. West, <laughs> West, I'm W2 and it's West London for life. <laughs> Um, do you know it's interesting that you were listening to that you mentioned Angel uh, because I was thinking about when I hear Weston I think of his brother I think of Angel and Angel yeah. was actually one of my first interviews here on the scene three years ago he was the first guest on my show really? on the BBC and I thought look at that um, what an wow, incredibly so I know and a very talented family how did the link up we're going to play your latest track very shortly um, with that features the trio that is Western who are also West Londoners through and through how so everything's did, West London. I love it I love it how did the <laughs> collaboration come about you know, I was in, uh, I actually came to London last year and uh, and got a place early on. And, and yeah, I was in a studio with, with Angel. We were supposed to go in and make a whole project together. Unfortunately, some, you know, family issues um, and emergencies came up and we had to kind of delay it. But over the Christmas period while I was away, my manager was also from West London. He's close friends with Angel. And they were like, why don't you just hop on? company for now like this is right up your street and we already played in the studio and he loved it and he was like the next day he already sent the verse and it sounded incredible wow. and then you know when we got Eric Bellinger on he was going on a US tour and we were like fighting just to make sure we got the verse in time <laughs> and when he did it was just it just sounded amazing and that was kind of the start of it and me and Angel have been in the studio quite a lot um, since then and we're currently working on music as well but Obviously, that also led to the Western connection. And I was just in London this week, linking up with Western as well. And, and so, yeah, those boys are really just uh, been so supportive. And I'm so blessed this early on in my career as well to have that support, especially from London. You're going yeah. to be huge. I feel so blessed to have you on the <laughs> show. Uh, yeah. Honestly, uh, I mean, just the way that you casually just dropped Eric Bellinger, like you had a whole track that featured <laughs> not even you on the feature it featured Eric Bellinger like how did that even come about but you know I don't take I don't take that lightly though you know what I'm saying That's I know like, I know I know that was huge. When, we, when we got that like we were trying to reach out to Eric as soon as Angel did his verse he was like okay we need to get Eric Bellinger on this record I've been a huge fan of him and when I first came to LA in 2015 2016 the song that was playing on radio every day was his song, I Don't Want Her. And I was telling him, like, now the fact that we're on a song together, that, that for me was my full circle. Cause, wow. Because, like, that's, that was the soundtrack of that trip, that first trip to L.A. And, and uh, I was, like, calling all my producer friends and, and all the people I know in L.A., and they were all trying to get a hold of him. And one of those people was also Harmony Samuels, who's a, who's a huge UK producer in L.A. that we work with as well. And when we finally got a hold of him, we put in a three-way FaceTime, and then... He went in that studio that same night, and the next day we had the verse from him. So wow. I was just, I was just so happy we got to do it before his tour as well, because now we're able to, you know, it's out there and people are loving it, and you know, we're just pushing. So it's beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful. If you could collaborate with anybody in the world, who are you choosing? Mm. Uh, no pressure. It's tough, because like I'm, I'm also like a producer now, a songwriter, like all these things. So it's like if I, if I could work with a songwriter, it would be. James Fontlord. If I could work with a producer, it would be like Pharrell. Ooh. Or it would be yes. um, for an artist, Chris Brown for sure. Hey. I love Chris Brown. He's, I've been yeah. his biggest fan of his artist, artistry for, for so Chris. long now. So just to meet up with him and, and link and talk and chat and even make music would just be a dream come true. So. He's actually one of the coolest guys I've had Did the pleasure. Did you go to his concert when he was in London? I went to his concert in London and then I had the pleasure of going to his birthday in Vegas oh, in look May. At you. <laughs> look at you, I know some of his team, so you never know. We might be able to make that happen. But he's caught. He just announced that he's got his, his new album 
them drop in. The, I think it's called yeah, 11, 11, 11, 11. 11. <laughs> You know, he's crazy. We have a lot of the same dancers. Like I, I dance with a lot of his dancers. No I go and play with him. And uh, I, I, we, you know, his photographer, his main photographer, Matt, travels with him. We shot with him a few times. And, and so we're like, we've always kind of been close, but it's like, when that link up happens, yeah. It's beautiful. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. There's too many and people. And Eric Ballinger works with him a lot, you know, so. There you go. I know. There you go. I absolutely <laughs> love that. Uh, thoughts on the UK music scene? Obviously, you, you've, you've just collabed with Western. You're here now in London. Mm. How long have you lived in London for now? It's coming up to uh, 10 months a year. 10 months, Like, wow. off and on. Like, there's a lot of traveling and a lot of different shows there and there and stuff. But we, we, we're definitely based out, uh, out of London now. And your thoughts on the UK music scene as opposed to the American scene? You know what? Uh, it's... It feels like, for me, like the U.S. is also like so big. Mm. It's just like state to state. Everything is different sounds all the time. And I just feel like with the U.K., people kind of have a little more fun with it. I mm-hmm. feel like, mm-hmm. like a lot of the like, especially the Afro beats and like the R and B and like and the hip hop and the rap as well. Like you see Central C, Dave, AJ Tracy, like oh, killing it. Like you be smile. I be smiling all the time when I listen to those records. And, and mm. uh, there was another song that came out last week. Uh, Cap to the side, cap to the side with Mostak. Oh, I as well. that like, one. Shame it, on me. <laughs> yeah, it's just like fun. And you know, when you go to like Shore Ditch or you go to like wherever you are and like they play it, people are dancing and it's just a vibe always. So I love that. I don't know. I feel, yeah, I feel like I have a lot more fun going out and it, the culture is a lot different. It's so true. And you know, I must say, uh, if you'd have asked, if I'd have asked that question to myself a year ago or two years uh-huh. ago, I would have sort of moaned. But this year, especially <laughs> traveling a lot, I'm seeing the UK getting their flowers now. Finally, no, like, swear, internationally, yeah, swear, like, it's like they're going off. I'm in the club. <laughs> I'm like, huh? I didn't know you lot yeah. know about this tune. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Uh, so I Can Sleep Sound. Talk to me about that yeah. track. Tell us about it. Man, it's, uh, <laughs> I've never written a song that speaks so directly to how I felt about a girl before. Ooh. Um, I remember, and, you know, I was telling my manager as well, like, like every line in, in that song is stuff I've texted this chick, mm-hmm. like, in the past. Like, <laughs> and it's just one of, the, it's just one of those honest records that, like, no matter what you do or say to someone that's changing up on you, you're acting out a while now, like, you can't control them. Mm. You know, and that's why I thought, I got my own thoughts, but I can't control you. And, you can do you, I got to do me, and I would oh. want you around because I can sleep sound so I can sleep better at night. Mm. Um, so it's kind of, I'm a cancer, you know? So I, I, I'm, you in touch with your you know, emotions. I'm, about, I'm emotional, you know what I'm saying? Yes. I, I'm, I'm in with my emotions. So. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. Um, I and we're definitely going to so be much. supporting it here on the station across the show. Oh, so much love. Appreciate no, you guys. And, and, you know, BBC One Extra as well. Like, it was track of the week with uh, DJ Ace and... Well, we're going to make it our like... track of the week. Yes, there you go. <laughs> Big up, Ace. Uh, we're going to make it our track of the week. We're starting this week, but we're going to end it next week. So we got a 10-day week. <laughs> Let's go. Um, and, uh, go on. When Weston, when Weston hopped on as well, they just, you know, knocked out a Haley so talented, a Keller so talented. And I'm just so, so happy with how it turned out. And those are my brothers now, so... Well, yeah. I'll be real with you. I checked my inbox today. It landed. Uh, I, I just going through my emails because I've got thousands and I heard the track and I was like, yo, can we get him on today? <laughs> Literally, that was my email because I am loving it. Um, so, wow. yeah, honestly. I uh, that means the world. Thank you. That means the world. For sure. Uh, what have we? What can we expect for you for the rest of the year? Have we got anything coming up? Any shows? Yeah, we, we're, we're halfway through the my EP Floor Plan 2.0 this is this was single number three and this is a the, the Floor Plan 2.0 is the 2.0 version of my EP that I dropped last year all the songs this time around have features and collabs on them and so uh, you know we got we got a few more singles coming out in the next in the next couple of weeks months and and I don't want to say any names or anything like that yet but no what exclusives. I can say is that no exclusives we man- <laughs> No, what, what I can't say is that the people that are on it are some of my favorite artists, and I'm so lucky. And, and this, you know, wow. this artist from from my hometown, Norway. This this artist from the UK, artist from the US, Atlanta, and mm-hmm. there's a uh, artist from Nigeria as well. So, um It's kind of that full circle of of uh, artists I respect and look up to, and 
yeah, this is my this is my like first slash second EP. So yeah, it's just huge to me that you know we're growing all the time. I get to collab with these people. And can we expect a date for Floor Pat Plan 2.0? I can say next month. <gasps> How exciting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, next month you should expect some. And maybe a little some some before that as well. But Amazing. The EP 4.2.0 September. Well, listen, I wish you all the success with it. I cannot wait to see who the features are. I know myself <laughs> and Kim have got to get you in the studio. We've got to take you on a tour. You've yeah. got to go to Notting Hill Carnival this year. I'm there. I'm there. I'm I'm coming. Hey. I'm uh, yeah. Western Western's gonna take me around. There you, you go. Know, they're 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 veterans. I'll definitely uh, bump I'm, into uh, you, no doubt. <laughs> I can see them not everywhere. To, <laughs> I can't wait to see you and Kim. You too. And we'll, we'll chat it up. Listen, Travis, you're an absolute legend. I wish you all the success, honestly. If anyone wants to follow you, engage with you, not sure if they can slide in your DMs. Where do they need to go? <laughs> <laughs> slide. Everyone can slide. <laughs> Listen, so my uh, my social is Trevis, that's what it, E-T-R-E-V-I-S, Brenmo. And you can listen to, so I can see sound on Spotify, Apple Music. Um, and yeah, big up BBC Radio London. We love you guys. Hey, we love you too. Do us the honours of introing your latest track here on the station. This is So I Can Sleep Sound together with my W12 brothers Western here on BBC Radio London. Hey, thank you. Got my own thoughts, but I can't control ya. Got a mind of your own, only you can do ya. Switch so fast, now I'm scared I'ma lose ya. Been together for a while, and I thought I knew ya. I see a different lady You got me feeling out of place when I say baby We was a good vibe but now you changed the regime I had you in the summer, now you moving shady Damn, I gave you all I had, you know Gonna be the reason that my heart get cold I fly straight down the line, you fall You drive me crazy, girl, I'm losing control Switch to your phone now Hanging with the wrong crowd Selling your soul I can see you changing. We ain't gonna fight, we just need a conversation. But if you really wanna leave, then I'll let you run. I really do believe you, my special one. Or true love, if I love you, then I gotta let you move on from me. But if you lose love, then I'll take it on the gym because I screwed up indeed. Cause I got my own thoughts, but I can't control you. Yeah.